Hey everyone, in this video we're going to define the trigonometric functions in terms of a right triangle. So here we'll draw one leg of the triangle. Here's the hypotenuse, and then here is another leg. So this will be a right triangle, meaning that this is 90 degrees. And then here we have our angle theta. Uh, so according to theta, this is called the adjacent side. So this is the side adjacent to theta. So A, A for adjacent. This is the side opposite of theta. So this is called opposite. And so we'll use O for opposite. And this is, of course, the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse. And we'll use H for hypotenuse. And so using this triangle, we can define the trig functions using um, an ancient method. <laughs> so ka. So, so, ka, toa. So, ka, toa. So, sine of theta is so. Sine is so, so. So, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, opposite over hypotenuse. That means that the reciprocal function, which is cosecant of theta, it's ho. So, h over o. Uh, cosine of theta, so it's so, ka, toa. So it's A over H, A over H. And then secant is the reciprocal, so it's ha. And then tangent, so it's so ka toa oa, so it's O over A. And so cotangent is AO, AO, so A over O. So pretty easy to memorize this, extremely easy, I think. So it's so ka toa. So really, really simple. Very, very, very useful. Let's go ahead and do a really simple example so you see how this works. So we'll be given a right triangle and we'll be asked, we'll find the, the trig function values of theta. So here's theta. Here's the number 28, uh, 35, and say 45. And based off of this, we can write down all of the trig functions. So let's see, sine of theta. So let me label everything. This is going to be the adjacent side. This is the opposite side. And this one here is the hypotenuse. So so ka toa, so O over H. So it would be 35 over 45. And if you simplify this, you just get um, 7 over 9. OK. Um, then the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. It's the one that starts with the other letter. So I'm just going to flip it and just do 9 over 7. Okay, so 2 down. Let's do cosine now. So cosine, so it's so katoa, so it's A over H. So A is 28, and then H is 45. Okay. And the reciprocal of this would be the secant function. So secant of theta would be 45 over 28. And finally, we can do tangent. So, so ka toa. So, tangent is O over A. So, O is 35, and A is 28. And the reciprocal of tangent is simply cotangent. So, that would be, uh, you just flip it. So, you get 28 over 35. So, just a quick video to show you probably one of the most useful things that you can learn in trig. So, ka toa. So, so ka toa. Toa, super, super powerful stuff. Hope that helped.